to have a fun little bit of a topic to go and talk about inside of Towerfell, or at least about Towerfell. And basically, it's what really happened to all of the good players in the game. Because I'll show you guys in a second, actually. If I actually go and I joined a brand new server, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, there's literally not many high level people in the game besides, you know, Thing or Groovy. Uh, and then there's me over level 100. But uh, it got me thinking, like, what really happened to a lot of the, you know, pro fan base? And I'm just going to attempt to answer that in the best of my ability. And this is probably not the best time to say it, but a lot of the time, not many people actually complete the towers nowadays, whether that's like, you know, me just making it to the top, speeding it and no one getting close or, you know, having an actual good player end up joining me. Which then, of course, they will make it to the top because, you know, they actually have experience with the game. And the thing is, uh, if you're playing Towerfall on PC, um, it's not really that hard because if you have good muscle memory, you really have like nothing to worry about at all. And you know what? Someone bought invincibility. You know what? I'm just gonna play like there's no invincibility because it actually makes the game fun. But yeah, a lot of the time, you know, not many people can actually get to the top of the tower. And that was just one of those things I've been noticing a lot recently. And I was thinking about like why that reason could be. And I was thinking that maybe a lot of the fan base now is like the majority of like mobile players, which is one of those things I was actually thinking about could be a consequence because there's still a lot of um, play people playing Tower of Hell. But I feel like a majority of them now play on mobile, which then again, I totally understand if people can't really complete it that easily because mobile is definitely not the easiest thing to get the hang of or be consistent on. And for me, I'm, a, I'm an actual PC player. I'm insanely consistent with the game, especially when I'm not really trying to speed run it or anything like that. But we have a brand new server, so I'm just gonna go, you know, just take it nice and chill, not do anything like too over the top. And we actually have someone that's relatively good at the game. I don't want to jinx myself, but oh, well, apparently it's not me. But I think a lot of the audience now is majority of mobile players, which uh, then again, please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the exact statistics on this. So if there's an actual website where you can actually view the amount of like mobile players versus like PC players, feel free to tell me because, you know, that might be an interesting thing to go and look at before making the video, probably. But yeah, we're just going to be chilling and I am definitely in a wrong server because there's actually people making it to the top, surprisingly. I mean, every single server I've done like throughout this entire week, no one has been able to actually make it to the top besides a few select people. But you know, apparently I chose the wrong server. Every time I try to record a video, I actually get good people for once. This dude's like, shut up people. Literally, whenever I join a server, I find it so funny because people are always like, it's a YouTuber or a Viper. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just trying to play the game, my dude. Don't, don't mind me. And there you go, guys. Even though I messed up at that one point, I'm still the first person to the top of the tower. And like, the game's not even that hard at all. If you're a mobile player, it's probably gonna be relatively harder because you know, movement ain't the easiest. Yeah, I think I really chose the wrong server here. So many people are actually making it to the top. Alrighty, so we have a brand new server and as you can see, the levels are still like basically the same. You have a few people that are around like level 25 plus, then literally everyone um, besides those people are just like level one or like up to level 10 or something like that. Um, another th the reason I think that could be is like a lot of the pro players might be going on to actual harder obbies, you know, like JTO and stuff like that. Um, and actual dedicated like tier obbies or difficulty charts because you know, those actually help you gain a lot more skill because there's people that are saying like, Tower of Hell is so hard. I'm like, there's nothing hard about the game, really. I mean, give or take, there's like a few stages that are actually hard about it. But aside from that, it's a really simple game. And the only thing that was really hard about Tower of Hell was when they had the TTOH, which is when they had every single stage in the entire game, which I would think went up to like almost 200 stages at one point, which was actually insane and really fun to do, in my opinion. Because at that point, it really just tested the consistency you had with the amount of towers. Because it was such a long obby that one simple mistake would set you back all the way to the beginning and there was like no checkpoints. I think that was the really fun part about TTOA just because there was no checkpoints. And it was basically just trying to speed run the game as fast as possible without worrying about anything. And boom, there we go, guys. And literally, I made it to the top of the tower and people are on stage two, stage three, basically. A lot of people are on stage one still. And it's like not many people in a lot of the servers are actually able to complete the tower for whatever reason. And I just thought it'd be like an interesting video to actually go and just talk about, you know? Because I feel like after a lot of the actual content for Towerfell died and there wasn't many actual unique video ideas for the game in general, a lot of the pro players kind of just disappeared and I've been told 
that a lot of people actually just play in you know vip servers which is also really understandable because you know you're not able to worry about people buying you know mutators or anything like that so another thing is a lot of the actual good or high level uh, players are probably just chilling in the vip servers like there's nothing so we do have someone that's actually ahead of us so if i can catch up to them uh i'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure i don't want to say they're bad because everyone's at their own like different level but if we actually catch up to them i'm gonna be happy with my consistency at least whoop do it backwards guys we're so cool i'm just gonna prove to you guys that the game isn't even that hard because we could just i could do this backwards and i mean where do i go oh i go this way okay i almost like messed that up for a sec but um yeah literally at this point i'm just like messing around half the time because the only thing i really work on um nowadays is my just my consistency because i don't really care about speed because i'm not really i don't want to speed run too much unless it's just a huge tower because i love speed running some huge towers but the biggest factor in that is you know just having a lot of like good consistency because if you have consistency you're really just playing the game and just chilling you know you don't have to worry about like speed running or anything like that and i think overall it's just a lot more of a funner time when you're able to actually complete a ton of stages a lot more consistently than trying just to speed run run one stage and just getting irritated every time you just mess it up you know and oh someone bought speed i almost didn't realize that and just flew off the edge there but uh you know we got it you know they're not gonna slow me down at all and boom already done with it while people are on stage two stage three while the majority are just still chilling at stage one for whatever reason hey yo we actually have someone really close to completing the tower this time around and highest second highest level still 38 37 than everyone else is a a pretty, a pretty low level i'm not gonna lie Ooh, congratulations we had a second person finally reach the top after a few rounds so guys that is basically the entire gist of today's video and everything um concluded and stuff like that but i really thought it was an interesting question to ask like kind of where all the pro tower fell players went and i kind of want to leave that question off to you guys whether you know uh where the actual players went if you have any like ideas or kind of just if you think everyone's just chilling on mobile nowadays because that's the most accessible platform for anyone to play on but yeah, if you guys do want to see any more videos just like this one, feel free to go and comment down below because, you know, I, I enjoy making a lot more of these just nice, uh, you know, chill videos just talking about some fun Tower of Hell topics and stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to go and drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully I will see you guys in an upload that comes a, a bit sooner than, you know, two weeks away. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.